just before we go, I saw the, part in, the Pope there making a very important statement today. He said um, he blames the devil for the abuse crisis in church. He believes Satan is to blame for this crisis. Do, do you agree with Pope Francis on that? Is, is the devil at work here? Oh, of course. Absolutely. In fact, Pope Francis, you know, since the very start, since day one, Pope Francis has been talking about the action of Satan. And can I just say as well, as Bishop, I have got several um, requests from people who, uh, one lady, for example, who's involved in counselling. Uh, she's I don't know if she's Catholic or what, but she's coming across things in people which she cannot deal with, and she knows that it's beyond psychological. And I have got in the past couple of years about, I would say, nine requests from people who are getting in touch with what they believe to be evil forces. Um, and I have, I'm just setting up a group, actually, of people who want to be part of delivery ministry, if you like. Um, this is something that has to be done in secret because you, you don't let these people's names out. And they are going to houses where people maybe have been involved in some kind of new age thing or some kind of seance or that kind of thing. And unfortunately, they've let, they've opened up a door to an evil force, Satan. And does evil, does, does Satan want to destroy the human person? Of course he does. Not only the church, but anywhere and everywhere that he will get in, he has come to destroy. Tell me about the danger of that, and you said, of opening up that, that evil energy, that force, and you said new age, and say, tell me about that. Well, I know of one man, for example, and I was told this story. I phoned him personally, and it was his brother that told me. This was, he was a Reiki master, was working on somebody one day when he actually says he saw a vision of Satan. He was scared out of his wits, dropped the Reiki, and went back to church. And um, because, you see, you're, 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 you're channeling... Um, energies, in inverted commas, you could well be opening yourself up to letting uh, an, a spirit in which is not good. And it is dangerous stuff, actually. How do you, once that spirit is in, what, what can your delivery ministry do? <laughs> well, you've got to pray. You've got to pray for the healing of the church and, and recite, with the permission of the bishop, the, the, the prayers of exorcism. And um, it's it's a tricky area. Uh, there's no doubt about that. It must never be done on one's own. And um, there almost there always has to be prayer behind it. Um, I remember one particular priest, a friend of mine whom I knew, who was involved in one particular case. And um, th it was a girl, a professional girl, uh, young, who came with her mother. And um, there were four men, uh, kind of rugby types, to hold her down in the chair. Such strength she had. And the priest had warned the four guys beforehand, just make sure that you have gone to confession. And one guy didn't go to confession, one of the four. And the girl, with the voice that was not hers, it was a male voice coming out of her, actually called out the sins of your man, the guy who hadn't gone to confession. So that's kind of scary stuff. And um, I've never seen an exorcism myself, uh, but I have certainly felt the presence of evil. There will be people listening um, if they've yeah. experienced that. And, and, sure. and, and, and it's such, as you said, it's, as you see it, it's, it's such a dangerous energy. Yes. Your, your delivery team, would they be able to perform exorcisms? Well, um, this, is, this is a fledgling thing. There is a priest in the diocese who is um, going to get involved in this. He shall remain nameless and who will go for training. Only yesterday I was talking to him about it. And um, that will take a while. It's it, we're we're finding our feet in this area. It is something. There are more and more requests coming in, and but I would hope that look, um, 
people will not get scared, and I'm sorry if I'm scaring anybody, but uh, let's pray and let's 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 just realize that they're they're, they're you know uh, if you read scriptures, you will see how Christ over and over again was confronted with Satan, you know, over and over again with the enemy. Have you ever felt the presence of Satan? Uh, yes, I did. I, I remember two particular people that I met, and um, they frightened me. There was something about them which was not good. It, it was it was a cold, a coldness and a, a venom that was there that was very personally against me, even though I didn't know them from Adam and they didn't know me from Adam. Um, but again, you know, Jesus is Lord of all, and he is greater than any other force. So let's trust in Jesus. Yeah, and you mentioned Reiki New Age. Do you believe there is a danger when you enter those realms? I do, I do. And I, you know, I know that people are looking for healing, but let's be very careful in where you go for healing. Because, you know, if you're opening yourself up to, to a spirit and uh, someone is channeling a spirit, he could be channeling the wrong spirit and it could it can affect and and you know i have i have met personally people who are so oppressed with something which is other than psychological and i would never by the way counsel a person not to continue to go to their doctor or counselor or psychologist you know psychiatrist absolutely but sometimes there are things which are paranormal which are spiritual and um I know one particular girl who worked with a guy who was into Satanism and she came away very badly affected and still suffers as a result of that. And it's a very difficult area. I just hope I sent her to somebody and I hope she found healing since. Yeah, so it's scary stuff. But look, the Lord is the Lord is master and He He's the one in whom we trust. What would you say to those who would say that, yes, there's evil, yeah, but that evil exists in in man's heart, that there's a potential in all of us, yeah, and that the devil is simply, which Pope Francis disagrees with this, and, and he's been very clear about this. He said, it's not just a symbol. It's not just a myth. Yeah. And if you let your guard down, you're, you're going to be scary. But what would you say to those who would say that the idea of the devil is almost delusional, that it is um, a psychiatric or psychological problem within people when they experience Satan or, or say that there's such a thing? Pope Francis is very clear. What do you think? Yes. I mean... I when I was when I was chaplain in 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 Limerick in the hospital, I I called in regularly to the psychiatric ward, and and certainly you know there's there's a grey area there where people can have you know very serious psychological mm. issues which are not yeah in any way I, I I've seen that yeah sure it's not yeah yeah you know, so I'm uh, so but I I I mean with Pope Francis I absolutely agree that. Evil is not just a symbol. Uh, the devil is not just a symbol for bad things. He's a personal uh, force of destruction, wanting to bring down humanity, wanting to get in and destroy the things that we love. And and we must cover ourselves with, with love and with prayer, as Jesus wants us to do, and not to be afraid. You know, how many times in the Bible does it say, do not be afraid? You know the answer to that. 365 times. And of course, the joker out there will say, what about a leap year? Well, for that particular day, you can, you can be as scary as you like. Very good. Bishop Alphonsus Colnan, thank you for coming in. Thank you, Eamon. Thank you. Day to Today with Eamon Keane on WLR.